here it is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we want to welcome y'all inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. And today I got a very special guest all the way live via Skype from Anchorage, Alaska. Give it up for the one and only Charlo Sticky Icky Green. Hey, baby girl. <laughs> what up? What's happening? Can you see me? What was that? I said, can you see me? I, I don't see any pizza. I do see that blind. Oh, boy. So quick, so fast. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm doing good. A little busy just, you know, getting out in the community and encouraging people to stand up and shout their marijuana stories from the rooftops. So what? we just left this public hearing and we rushed over to sit down and chat with the dog. I know. That's right. Well, Miss Green, we just want to thank you for being a, a great advocate and putting it out there and just taking a stand for something that's so real to people around the world. So I want to commend you for that first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've been doing. You normalized it. You made it so it wasn't this mystery thing. You are successful and you smoke weed. In a real in way. Life. In a real way. So explain uh, to the people out there that may be up under the closet that didn't see what happened last Sunday. What happened? Um, I went into work. I was on live TV. It came down to me just ending up a story or ending a story. And I sat and I thought out loud, fuck it. I quit. And I walked off. So Never looked back since. Was that an emotion that had been built up or was it just something that spontaneously came across? Because you felt like, you know what, this is the way I feel right. It's like the Holy Ghost. When you get the spirit, sometimes you got to let it go. <laughs> That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. I mean, the message at the end of the day, I hope that is heard loud and clear. Just the fuck it. That was that was me thinking out loud. That was me speaking my truth in that moment. I need to go and be doing other things. I need to be working for marijuana reform instead of stand, standing from the sidelines and talking about it as a reporter. I needed to start being about it. Yeah, being on the field because you were a player. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to say to you. So what about the, the, the cannabis culture in Alaska? Because I've been there a few times to Anchorage, and it was all right when I was out there. I had a great time. So what is it like now in 2014? <laughs> well, in 2014, we still got that fire. I know, that's right. We still right. got it. Okay. Plenty of it. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just, I don't want to be pulled over for having um, a tail light out and then have to get a charge for it. That is still a huge risk for all of us up here in Alaska. I'm a medical marijuana card holder, but if I forget my card at home, then I'm still going to be charged for it regardless. And the police can come up in your house if they can just, if they just think they smell weed. How is that okay? We need to legalize it. I don't want them running up in my house because it always smells like weed. I know, that's right. So what is Proposition 2 and what are you doing up in Alaska to make sure that people vote yes? Well, Ballot Measure 2 is the initiative to legalize recreational marijuana for people 21 years and older. It would legalize it. It would tax it. You wouldn't have to worry about always going to the street to get it. The state is going to reap in so much money. If this does pass, people are going to be safe in their homes. And our medical marijuana patients are finally going to have dispensaries. We've had medical marijuana since... 1998 that's when voters decided to legalize medical marijuana in alaska but the state hasn't done anything to set up any dispensaries or the framework for anyone wanting to set up a dispensary to allow these people to get their medicine so voting yes on two is a vote for making medical marijuana real it's a vote for freedom Liberty is all that we're about here in Alaska. Everyone comes up here to this huge, huge state because we like our rights, we like our freedom, we like our privacy. So that's what this vote is for, and it's for fairness. How can we in Alaska be killing ourselves with alcohol, but we can't have a safer alternative, a safer vice that isn't going to destroy my liver, I'm not going to drive drunk and run over like a, a family of five or anything like that. I'm not going to go home and beat on my boyfriend or anything after after smoking a joint. You're right. You know? You're right. So how can how can me and my homeboys at the GGN, 
how could we help get the awareness out there? Because I really want to push this message out there for you and the people of Alaska because I help with the Denver, Colorado move as well. And you see that's recreational. So I feel like my voice is very powerful. So what can I do so I can help you help them help y'all get it right? I mean, if you could just call out Alaskan voters and make sure that they are registered, we don't have too much time. October 5th is the last day to register to vote, to be able to go and vote yes on ballot measure two. A lot of people in the black community up here in Alaska are not registered to vote and had absolutely no plans on registering or showing up until I said, fuck it. That's what got their attention, but you calling them out is gonna get them to the polls. You have no idea how, well, you probably do. You're a huge figure. This you is what we're gonna do. You have the power to motivate people. This is what we're gonna do. You, so. We're gonna figure it out like this. If we get y'all to vote yes on Proposition 2, Snoop Dogg is coming to Alaska to do a concert, a wellness retreat concert, and I'm bringing some of that California with me to celebrate. You feel me? In a real way. Are you kidding me? No, I'm too serious. I'm serious as a motherfucker right now. If they vote yes on that, I'm locking and loading. I'm coming out there and I'm doing a concert for y'all, wellness retreat. We're going to do it together to say that we brought something to life. Oh, my gosh. That is going to motivate people. I mean, yes, the vote is all, all but passed now. That is awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what you. it is. That's what we need to be doing. We need to complement each other. Like I said, you struck a nerve with the whole community. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the community for a long time fighting for it and getting turned down and burnt down. And they've been, you know, knocking me down. Now it's finally everywhere and everybody understands that this is medical and this could actually save lives and it actually helps people now we got people like yourself who's standing up you showed that it's multicultural it's not just a bunch of thug dudes that's trying to push weed but it's women and they speak with intelligence and speak from a right frame of mind so we support you we back you and we, we with you 100 percent oh my gosh you just made my day snoop we're we're gonna get this done together we're going to get this done together. Thank you for being so active. I'm sure you having your influence down in Colorado and over in Washington help them. The fact that you're throwing your weight behind our efforts to make sure that freedom and fairness is upheld and that we end this stupid, unfair, unjust marijuana prohibition finally. Yes. Thank yes. you so much. So where could people... Smoking I'm smoking on some of this KK, this Wiz Khalifa. Hand me that jar over there so I can show her what I'm working with. This is some of that KK, that Wiz Khalifa Kush. <laughs> he got that new thing, do thing, true thing. You understand me? Let me show you what that nug look like. <laughs> See what that nug look like? Mmm, I can almost smell it. Yeah. Oh, bring some of that too. Come on. Hit me with some of that too. Pour a little bit of that in my hand. This some of that. This some of that purple. I know y'all like that purple out there. <laughs> we keep flavors. You guys having way too much fun mm, down there. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So where can people where can people find you at? You know, if that's looking for you, Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of shit. Where can they look you up at? Well, my Twitter is CEO Charlo Green. That is the only Twitter I have. I don't have any other ones, so unfollow the other ones and follow at CEO Charlo Green. Um, our website is akcannabisclub.com. From there, you'll find a link to our Indiegogo campaign. We're still raising money because we have to fly back and forth and crisscross. Alaska to make sure that we're reaching all of our native communities and just getting the word out that we need to educate each other. It is up to us to speak our truths. Yes, I smoke weed. I'm still a contributing member to society. You were my friend yesterday. Now that you know, are we still friends? Are we still cool? You registered to vote. That, yeah. That's what we're raising money for with our Indiegogo.com. Alaska Cannabis Club's Fight for Freedom and Fairness. So just search for that. And then we have our Facebook, Alaska Cannabis Club. I mean, I could go on. We're all over the Internet. So just, just follow us. Got you. Well, we just trying to make, you know, people understand what you're doing and how real it is. And it wasn't no gimmick and it wasn't no act. It came from the heart and the soul. And it's really trying to help elevate the people in your community, in your state you know, be a part of something that's, you know, universal. It's, it's what's happening right now. Colorado, nobody ever thought that Denver, Colorado would be the first one to jump in with two feet. And they generating so much money, they saving so many lives, there's so many great things. There was a girl that had, you know, she was having over 300 seizures a week. Uh, right. Charlotte's Web, and they created some, you know, some weed with, with less THC, and it actually broke her down to three seizures a week. And I believe that she's having none now. So it's a great right. thing that this weed thing is doing medically 
So we need to push it and, and constantly stay behind each other and do what we do. So you got my love and support. I just wanted to reach out to you and let you know I want to thank you for taking your time. And you are fine as a motherfucker, too, as I'm looking at you on your screen right now. God damn. Boy, over here. Hey, you, hey, hey, man, stay locked and loaded, man. Real shit. Real shit. So we fuck with you. What up, though? She, she got a house full of weed smokers. Cause look, she got about four motherfuckers over there smoking. Everybody up in here smoking. In a real way. We cannot wait to get you up here. Now we've got even more incentive. The medical is everything. Recreational. It, it's, it's, it's medical, too. I mean, if it sits you down, if it eases you your anxiety, your stress level, who's to say what's what and how you use it, as long as you use it responsibly and nobody's getting hurt, exactly. you know? Exactly, you're right, because I ain't never heard of nobody having no car accidents or doing no shootings or nothing negative or violent while under the influence of marijuana. So that's that's my last comment that I'm gonna make. You know, you could put a glass of alcohol right here, you could put a joint right there, and you could test the results in an hour later and you see what the results is, bad or good. I'm going with the good, the good good. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Ah, thank you for rocking with us. This is so insane. Oh. This is so crazy. Well, you be sweet. You be sweet. Y'all take care. Stay on y'all mission and let me know when the results come in. We're going to pump this up and blast this all over my network, the GGN News Network, because we does the most on the coast. And here's a toast to the boogie. You're chilling with the host, Nemo Hose, a.k.a. Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Can't wait to see you up here in the last frontier. For sure, good day. That's good for you. I see you. I see you got your B zone on point. You know what I'm saying? Keep the fire on the tip of it so it can stay lit. You know what I mean? <laughs> See you. Peace. This is Charlotte Green, and you're watching the GGN News Network on West Fest TV. Church. Preach. Tabernacle.